Hey guys, this is Jock from Kelpie, and today we're going to be taking you through how to install uh, any one of our bar end mirrors to pretty well any type of handlebar. The three mirrors we offer are the hindsight mirrors, the splitter mirrors, and our throwback mirrors. Our throwbacks are generally uh, really, really nice on modern sports bikes, with the throwback mirrors offering the highest amount of visibility. The splitters working off a swivel hinge that allows the actual mirror to fold in when splitting and then coming back to a set position. The hindsights allow for a full 180 degree turn, allowing you to essentially have it directly outwards or upwards or downwards in a mix of different positions. Install of the mirrors is pretty simple. You will require an eight mil spanner on our throwbacks. And otherwise for all of the mirrors, the only tools you need is a five uh, Allen key and a size four Allen key. Look, bar and mirrors are really simple. All of our mirror kits come included with two mirrors, as well as two bar end mounts. And these mounts are main, made up of a inner and a larger sleeve and a nut. You may not need that larger sleeve for the handlebar that you're dealing with. So once you've taken your larger alloy sleeve off, this is what is uh, remaining. And essentially by tightening that, that alloy splays out, which is what fastens it to your handlebar. Once you've got it splayed out off of the bike to the point that it can just barely fit, In that instance, oh, whoop, perfect. So that can just fit, which means it's already grabbing on the handlebar as you tighten up from there. This is the biggest single trick. The most important part is tightening it off of the bike so that you can just slide it on and it's very, just barely fitting. And then from there, you're really only having to tighten it a small amount before that alloy sleeve grabs on the bar and as you can see here, starts to conform to it. And as it's splaying out, <sighs> that's now tight and hard mounted to the bar. Once you've done that, we're just tightening up our stem and you're done. Sometimes these mirrors come with grub screws like the Triumph 765s or in the Royal Enfield 650s case, just little tabs, which you can punch or remove to take these out. For the Yamaha MT range, as well as all of the XSRs, generally the handlebars actually have a large 16 mil thread internally into the actual bar. We also now have a completely different product that is basically a bar end mounting adapter kit for our throwback mirrors and our splitter mirrors to go onto any of the first, second, and third gen sort of MTs, XSRs, all of those bars that have the threaded bar end. So you're basically taking the clamp off of the rest of the mounting material and you're just slotting it over onto this one. Now this just uses a six mil Allen key to bolt directly into the threads on your Yamaha bars. And for all of the previous gen where the handlebars and grips and throttle tubes sat out a little bit sort of 15 mil um, further than the handlebars, these are the, have the perfect sizing to basically mean that you've got a really, really good fit with no loose sort of excess. So by now you should have a pretty good understanding of how to fit pretty well any bar and mirror to any handlebar. Thanks for checking out the video and I wish you well fitting up your own set of mirrors.